Good morning. It's Good Friday. Uh, and I want to welcome you to the Corona cast. I wonder if you noticed how the days at the minute kind of slide into each other. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's much of a difference between uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Uh, there are things to do and there are meals to eat and there's a little bit of exercise uh, and uh, there's uh, some things that break the week up but uh, it could feel like that every day is the same. But this day isn't the same. Uh, this is Good Friday. Uh, there's a tradition of meditating on the seven sayings of Jesus from the cross. And those are the seven things that the different gospel writers record. Um, and uh, I was thinking about one in particular today. This comes from Luke 23. There was a written notice above him which read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said. Since you are under the same sentence, we are punished justly. For we are getting what our deeds deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. There are three things about that saying that are interesting. The first is uh, the phrase today. It's interesting that Jesus offers an instantaneous welcome to this criminal. It's not wait for three days and you'll be with me in paradise. It's not uh, sort yourself out and you'll be with me in paradise. It's today you'll be with me uh, in paradise. And there is a now to Jesus, a sort of moment, every moment that he offers a welcome. Uh, and even in the midst of the most horrendous trial, he still says now. And the second is the word paradise, which is actually a very rare word in the New Testament. It's only used, I think, two other times. And it's sort of, uh, as it is in Greek, so it is in English. It's a garden, it's a paradise. It doesn't evoke so much heaven or some kind of life after death experience, but the Garden of Eden, a place of rest and vocation and fullness and God's creation. It seems like Jesus is saying to the man, you will be with me in that place of uh, shalom, that place of peace and that place of fullness. And the third thing uh, that is interesting is that that is about relationship. It's not about location, it's about relation relationship. Today you will be with me uh, in paradise. And this really plays on everything that Luke's been trying to do throughout his whole gospel, which is making a point about Jesus' unconditional welcome to the most unlikely people. And this extends even to the moment of the cross. Uh, there's even grace for a criminal and a brigand. There's even a place for Jesus' fellow executionee. So this is a day. This is a different day. Let's just close in prayer. Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this day that you could have refused, but yet you embraced it with so much uh, suffering and fear around. I pray that you will help us hear your voice in the time of suffering and fear. I say today, 
we can be with you. Amen.